we'll guide you through how to install mods in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Mods can go and add different things to the game, so we'll guide you through how this can be done. To get started, let's quit the game. Go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'm using Chrome, but it doesn't matter. Head to a site where we can get mods from. In this case, I like to use a site called CurseForge. There are other sites out there, but let's come to curseforge.com. Then you can select Minecraft and you can click browse all at the top. Now we can start browsing through different mods. If you've got one in mind, of course, you can go and search for it at the top. Now let's go through here. I want to get this mod called create. So we can go and click on it. You can scroll through and read the description. Then to go and get it, we need to press files at the top. You'll go and see some different files here. The main thing we need to note is the game version and mod loader. What we can do is go and get the most up to date for the game version, which is for 1.20.1. .1. The mod loader, we need to make sure it works with Forge. Then we can go to the right and press the three dots and press download file. What we can do is go and download more mods, but just make sure they're for the same game version and mod loader, which is Forge. So in my case, I'd need to get it for 1.20.1. .1. When you've downloaded the mods you want, we then need to go and get the mod loader in order to run it. So what we can do is go and type in Forge Minecraft, come to the Forge site. We need to make sure we then get Forge for the correct version. In my case, it's 1.20.1. .1. So on Forge, I can press that to the left. And then what we can do is go and press installer like so. Now you need to be patient here because this is an ad wall. If you see a download button here, it's for the ad. To go and start Forge, you need to press the skip button in the top right, and it's now downloaded. Before we start the install process, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice, so go and check them out. They've got some great features, for example, one click install more packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency, instant setup, and much more you can see here. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. As I said, the link below. Now we can go and start the install process. So what we need to do is come to our file explorer. We can go and right click on it and come to our downloads. What we're gonna do is go and drag Forge and the mods we downloaded onto our desktop like so. Now what we need to do is go and install Forge. Double click on it, it should go and open up just like so. If it doesn't, this means you need to go and get Java. So go and open up your web browser and you can go and head to java.com like so. Press download Java for desktops and you'll need to press another download button. After it downloads, go and install it. You can then return to Forge and right click on it, hover over open with and press choose another app and press Java TM platform SE binary and press always. Then it's gonna go and open up. We can press install client and go and press okay and it's now running and we need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, you can press installations. Then you can go and scroll down and you need to go and find Forge. You can hover over it and press the file or folder icon to the right. You then need to go and scroll down here and go and find the mods folder and come into it. If you've got any other mods in there, go and delete them because otherwise they may conflict if they're for a different version. So we can go and drag and drop it in like so. After you've done that, you want to go and hover over Forge and press play to the right. You can go and see your installed mods by pressing mods. Now, if I open up my inventory and press on the arrows at the top, 